Christmas, they bought me a pup, but the very next day, how is she going? This year, to save me from tears, please give him to someone special. special. Once bitten and twice shy, I like to play with him, but he just bit my eye. Tell me, mommy, do you recognize me? Well, we've had him a year, it doesn't surprise me. And welcome to the Aria Bark podcast vlogmas 2023 day 21 and 22. Apologies for being MIA yesterday. I woke up feeling all right. Made myself a cup of tea, had my breakfast, took my medication and a wee while later I started feeling a bit dodgy gone on, I'd filmed my Marco Polo, I'd gone on to Mandy's Zoom and had a migraine. Literally the minute I clicked join my eyes started going funny and it was one of my epic ones. I took my medication the minute it started, I went and took one of my tablets and I do not recommend crafting while you've got a migraine. I was like literally like missing of crocheting while you've got a migraine because I couldn't see. So I had to come off soon. Unceremoniously, I just literally, I never even said I was away, I just literally just slowed off and I was like, yeah, I need to go lie down before I fall down. And went and lay down, managed to get about 15 minutes on the bed at quiet time and then Piccadilly Circus started because everybody and their dog was coming to the door. We did go food shopping yesterday. Um, I managed to get the migraine to go away. I didn't feel great. We got the food shopping in, so I've only got one more shop to go to and that's not even far a lot. It's literally just to pick up a big bag of roast potatoes because as does not have any. It's very unlike us, it must be Christmas because we hit two supermarkets on the same day. We literally went to Asda's, picked up bits there. There was a couple of bits we couldn't get, so we went to Morrison's. And there's a clear difference in the level of staff between the two shops. The Morrison's, the Asda staff were like... And no very helpful, to be honest. Um, the Morrison staff were actually really friendly. Mind you, the Morrison butcher was a bit... Dude, you don't have any people skills. But the floor staff were lovely. And now I've got a wee Morrison's boy looking for Branston mayonnaise to give it a try. If anybody knows anywhere in Scotland a shop that sells Branston mayonnaise, Morrison's do not. Well, our ones don't. I might need to see what other Morrison's are about and see if I can find a bigger shop and see if they've got it. And I really hope it's nice, because see if it's rank, I will not be best impressed. While Ryan's not here, and I know he's not had time to watch the vlogs, he's planning on watching them when he's off, which will be after this, so it'll be fine. I was going to show you the progress on Ryan's jumper. So, we have two sleeves and can you see where was I this was where I was the last time you saw it I was there um, he only needed another two and a half inches on his body plus the ribbon so I'm now on the ribbon so the plan is is to try and have this finished for Christmas what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up in birthday paper and put it under the tree and well, congratulations, you have a jumper. He knows that I'm nearly finished. However, he does know that I'm rather far behind on my advent knitting. So I did say to him, look, you will get it sooner rather than later. But I'm really, really wanting to get it done. 
I get mad about getting it done. So this is going to be a surprise for him. This is the Arachne Sweater by Andy Satterland. Satterland. And it's no longer available in Ravelry. Um, it is, however, a really, really nice knit. Once that's done, I'm planning at some point next year to cast on an acrylic version. And there's going to be a Zoom group meetup. Fingers crossed next year. If not, I'm just going to drag Nancy to a yarn show. So me and Ryan can meet up with her with our jumpers on. Because we need a collective photo of me, Nancy and Ryan and our Iraqi jumpers. That's my plan. Advents. As usual, we will start off with the Secret Santa swap from the lovely Tonya at Karma's Estate. Oh, so sorry. I haven't done any more on the Hexi Blanket. Um, that's really quick to make up. I am planning on taking that with me when we go to Andrews on Christmas Eve. So I'll have a couple of days where I can just knock out a couple of hexes. I'm not that far behind with it, but there is enough to make up. So there isn't any more progress on that one. So, do you want to see what I've got for that? Right, we'll start with the wee stuff first because I'm really, really scared that I am going to lose these. So I'm going to get a stitch marker pouch. Oh, <gasps> safety penguins! Tell the last time I was in this pouch. Safety penguins and sticky up fingers. Let me see. This is a pouch that I got for my birthday from Mandy, and it's got all my stitch markers in. Um, oh, oh, oh. These are. We drinks from Dear Designs, my, is that a, my beginning around stitch markers from Dear Designs. <gasps> I was looking for you. Two seconds because I need to stick that back on before I lose it. These are stitch markers from my friend Heather where we Ram on it. Other ones I've got my red bulls from their designs. My wee flump from their designs. I'm sure I got this one for Sally, and this is one for their designs. Maybe there. Yeah, and there's other stitch markers in here as well. I'm going to stick these all back in. In my advent yesterday, I got this. It's a wee ring stitch marker with some beads and a wee rose. It is so cute. Thank you so much, Tonya. I did have a spare. Oops, there. So I'll stick these all together. And these will be my stitch markers from Tonya. Then we got this gorgeous one. So we this silly one. It's seriously cute. So we'll stick that on. This one's my favourite. I love this. It's like a wee glittery globe. It's so cute. Again, thank you very, very much, Tonya. I love it. I'm going to stick them back in before I lose them. I have so many stitch markers sitting on my desk. It's a surprise I've not lost them all. I've got these ones from my lovely friend Heather. Which reminds me I need to message Heather because I've got her card today and it made me cry. Heather sent me a Christmas card and I cried. So, also in the advent is a 
Jimmy Bean's enamel pin. And a wee stitch marker, it says. Oh, 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 oh. Can you read it? No. You may be able to read that one, actually. You may be able to read it. <gasps> Stop sided. Can you read that? It says Yarn Bay Bonnet. Love it. Stick that in there just now. And as if that wasn't enough. We love a stitch stoppers. Love it. There was a sweetie in here. It was a mint one. It was lush. I ate it because it was mine. And for Sally, my yarn moustache and my yarn beard. This is Blue Savannah. It's an MC, uh, MCN. How absolutely stunning. Honestly, this is so, so good. It is amazing. Absolutely love it. I'm going to get this wound. I am needing to put this in a bag. This bag. So I'm going to put my llamas in this bag. Because I'm going to need it. And I'm also going to put my safety penguins in this bag. All will be revealed tomorrow. No, because tomorrow's the 24th, 23rd. All will be revealed on the 24th. In today's Secret Santa Advent, we have a pink, oh my, where's the other one? There's there. A pink bubbly, this is delicious. No worry, like that is lush. I will eat that very shortly. We have some very pretty highlighters. No worry, like I do like a highlighter. I've got a, like a collection of them, so I do like a good highlighter. So thank you very much, Tonya. I love them. I will be using them next year. I'll, I'll probably will use them before next year, but. I have plans for them for next year and the yarn. Oh my god. How absolutely stunning is that? It is so pretty. It's going to make a really pretty hexy. So that was from my lovely friend Tonya. I do want to say, I know I still have one, two, three more packages to go from Tonya. However, I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to the lovely Sally who organised the Secret Santa swap. And I want to say a massive, massive thank you to the lovely Tonya. I have been spoilt rotten. Miss Tonya, wow. Just wow. There have been tears. Not going to lie, there has been quite a few times where there was tears. When I opened up that, I was in the car at the time. And I'd opened it before I'd recorded the Marco Polo because there's been tears before and nobody needs to see me with like snot and stuff, it's not pretty. And I had to be crying in the car, outside Andrew's appointment, people were walking past going, what the hell are you? So I do want to say a massive, massive thank you, Tonya. Above and beyond. Lovely. I want to say the rest of my events because like, ugh, honestly. Day 21 from the lovely Mouse's Mates. Nope. Goodness sake. Mandy from Mouse's Mates, who has the Yarn Dine Company Mouse Witch Yarns. Oh, our very first advent. And wow. Absolutely stunning. I have no idea whether this is a lay section or a brioche section. To be quite honest, I don't mind because it's stunning in both. Love it. So that was day 21. Day 22. Again. Wow. Stunning. I love how they don't, it's not so much a fade, 
However, can you see the match? It's not a complete fade where they gradually build in each other, but every single one go together. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Start off with pink. Then we had the one with the darker pink, pink but with darker pink stripes that went into the purple, lilac, lighter, blue, it, look at, it's stunning, literally stunning. I am now in the minty one from day 10 I'm sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Day 10. Now, can I find where the stitch marker was? This was where I was the last time you saw it. So I've done one brio section, I've done a lace section. I'm back into the brio section. I'm planning on taking this with me. I'm planning on getting... I'm planning on getting some more of this put in. I'm going to get as many days wound as possible. I'm hoping that I will be able to get it finished in a couple of weeks. There shouldn't be as much running about to do. So I'm kind of hoping I will get it done because I really, really do want this to be added into my totals. Obviously, I finished my Dio Radiant. I've finished... I'm nearly finished Ryan's jumper. So that's another project that I'm wanting... To get done in the my yarn corner advent day 21 that i keep sticking to the blooming bag is was this one this is fish the real fish and the blue fish and i'm going to get this wound again i'm not even anywhere close to being done with that project that's definitely going to be one that i'm going to have to finish off next year um the sweetie in that one was Love hearts. I'll numb on them later on. Day 22 is this one. Oh, I never noticed that. Me flex in it. This was a parrot fish. Because I did look it up. Today's one is a parrot fish. Today's sweetie is more Parma Violets. Absolutely love Parma Violets. I will show you the progress on two, two blankets. What I'm going to do is I think tomorrow's ones are likely to be really short because what we've got on tomorrow, I need to go to Iceland first thing in the morning so I'll nip through myself and get what I'm needing for Iceland. We need to start moving stuff through to Andrews. We need to take the cats through to Andrews. They're going to be took tomorrow so obviously he can look after the cats overnight obviously we all descend on christmas eve and still record the vlog i probably won't do the whip part and it will literally just be what my events are any progress that i make tonight christmas eve we're going to be at andrews obviously it's getting to be like a flitting as it is because there's a lot of stuff we need to take through to Andrews because obviously Andrew doesn't have any of the stuff that we're needing. Plus Christmas presents. Plus animals. It's going to be a whole thing. So I'm probably not going to show any of the blankets. But what I will do, there won't be any blankets tomorrow. So the 23rd, 24th and 20th, 25th and possibly the 26th. Because it depends what time we've, when we're coming home from Andrews because I don't know if we're staying all Boxing Day or we're leaving after dinner, I'm not entirely sure. Thursday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday next week I will do the full rundown at all the blankets. I'll work out how many there is and what ones have been shown and then I'll split them over the few days. I am going to go, I am going to get this wound. I am... Um, I will do two because there's two blankets sitting here that I, that I can run through. Obviously, I'm not going to include the Hexy blanket because you're seeing that all the time anyway. I shall be back shortly. I will get the two blankets out that I'm needing to speak about. 
but first I am going to wind my Advent so they're ready to go and I will see you back here shortly. <laughs> peoples I am back. The projects that I've picked out today are my blankets. The first blanket I am going to show, I really did think I was like actually in the middle of Venice there. This is my Chinese miter blanket. There are ends that I need to 
one of those many ends that I need to fix on this. It is a fair size. That's how wide it is. I think what I might do, the original plan was to have 3 by 3 So obviously I've only done two up and two along the bottom. So there's another square to go in, a hundred. I think I might just do four. I do have enough scrap yarns to finish it. Let's be completely honest. In my Maku bag, I've got all them still to go in. Obviously there's this year's advents to go in. There's an entire other blanket bag and some of them are still to go in. Got the opal minis that I got last year. A lot of them have still to go in. I don't think I'm lacking in the minis to finish this off. There's 12 blankets, no way them are scrappy. I've only got 10 blankets. 11. I've got my hexa blanket. 12. Obviously, I ripped out the quadrophenia. I'm needing a hexa blanket with that. This is one of the blankets. This is my longest running whip. I started this back in April 2020. I started this. And I genuinely did think, oh, I'll be able to do it in a couple of months. It'll be fine. It won't be any problems. Next year will be four years finish a blanket so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at the four squares because that is going to be plenty the four squares are a hundred so that'll be like 400 blocks I might possibly cast on another blanket who knows but this is this one it's just using scraps from projects that's from a pair of socks that's for a pair of socks that's for a Tunisian crochet shawl. Um, that was for a pair of socks for Andrew. That's a pair of socks for me. Um, what other ones? That's for a pair of socks for Ryan. That one's from a, a wrap. That one's from a wrap. Yeah. A pair of socks for Ryan. That one is for a pair of socks for me. For me, even. I think the plan definitely will be to get this finished next year. Again, I'm not going to say I'll have it finished in the first three months of next year because it is quite hard going because it's big. The only decent thing about it is I'm not having to turn it. I can literally just sit it on the desk and just work away on it. I think what I will do though is have a day, like, no really a Sunday because I normally record on sun for a Sunday. So there's a lot of YouTube stuff on a Sunday. I think maybe a, a Friday or a Saturday, a Saturday what I'll do is I'll just spend all day just working on a couple of blankets. Just spend a couple of hours on each of the blankets and get some mere work put in them. So that's my plan. Um, that was a bandwagon blanket by Beth Graham. It's a Tunisian crochet project and it's just using different four plies. Um, I'm not really precious about what four plies. Obviously there's hand dyed, there's commercial. There's acrylic. Yeah, I don't care. My next project is the reason I bought that I didn't buy. I got more of the Katana Amigurumi balls. They're not in this bag yet. As you can tell, I have been working on it. Where is... Perfect. I put it back in in the middle of the row. Well done. Well done. So I might actually work on this while I'm editing the vlog to get it to the end of the row. This was where it was the last time you saw it. 
So I've put a few rows on. Um, I wouldn't say it's all that hard going, to be honest. Um, I do love it. This will be another one that I'm going to try and get done because it isn't really all that difficult. It's literally just a granny stripe blanket. Um, this is actually called the granny stripe Granny Stripe Blanket, it's by Lucy of Attic24. Again, it's a really nice project to work on. I think I'm enjoying it more because Andrew had got me both the white katana and the two packs of Amigurumi balls for, I think, I'm sure it was Mother's Day or my birthday. It's hard to tell because they were quite close together. Someone's telling me it was Mother's Day he got me them. So it'll be nice to have an entire blanket just made out a wool. Well, it's no wool, it's cotton. I think this one's the 100% the cotton one. It'll be nice to have a blanket just made out of yarn bought for me by Andrew. I am planning on casting on a blanket at some point next year quite early on in the year my christmas blanket i've spoken to ryan he's not really fussed if a christmas blanket's out all year plus it will give me a chance to see how he likes that blanket and if he does like it then i think what we might do is let him pick a blanket that can go in the living room all year that he can use because he's currently using the special stripy blanket that I finished last April well no last April this April April this year I should say that has been sitting beside him and when he naps on the couch he normally wraps himself up in that I think what I'll do the ones where there's more than one ball I think I'll maybe use one of the balls as a border. So I'm going to stop here rather than just continuing to knit with it. So far today we've had kids screaming and now we've got a dog yelping. I've done that the wrong way round. This was where it was the last time you saw it. So I've done a fair bit. In all honesty. Or it's either that or I've not bothered moving it up for the last time I podcasted. I know I have put a few more rows in. Obviously, that one shows up better now than what it does in daylight. So, yeah, I am just going to keep working on this one. Again, it's nice to work on. I need to find my wishy hook. Yeah, so that is those. I would like to say a massive thank you for everyone who has continued to watch despite my shoddy schedule to the lovely zoom ladies i would like to thank you for a fantastic year there's been hard times there's been good times and we're all still alive we're all still here i also want to say a very big and a very heartfelt thank you to my fellow admins and hosts thank you for just being fabulous fabulous women i am actually genuinely looking forward to a few days with the two boys and the cats and the doggies patch will probably be a nightmare because andrew has a back door so it's just a case that we can just open the back door and let him amuse himself just relax in and just chill and do absolutely nothing i have spoken with my knitting mentor the lovely nancy from kitty scrapper podcast and we've chosen my sleigh day cowl is coming with me my hexy blankets coming with me and on Christmas Eve once everything's all been done and I can just chill the plan will be to start the Kuschelig by Kristen Kimsey it's not available on Ravelry any longer I am planning on using the mouse fitch yarn sock sets so obviously I get to open the last one 
on Sunday. Realistically, do I think that I'm going to get five days put in and three? Possibly not. So I'm not really going to worry. Well, wouldn't it be day four? Because I'm wanting to run in order of the weeks. And then the, the Dolly Mixture one as the fifth skein. The lovely Nancy has given me tips about just using the same size needle for both. So the needles are here. So I've got my two needles and I've got my needle stops for both. That way I'm not constantly putting it on and off scrap yarn. I'll just keep two needles on it. That's ready to go so that can get packed away and bag. I do need to remember I've got a present for Ryan sitting over there that I need to get a tag written and then get the bag of wrap parcels ready to go. I think what I'm also going to take with me is I need to make a decision about the pattern for Andrew's hat. Um, for the person that recommended doing the muscle bra hat thank you for the suggestion but no. Um, I have done a muscle bra before, I didn't really like it, to be perfectly honest, I genuinely didn't like the pattern. I like something with a bit of interest, I don't mind mindless knitting, but that just went on for weeks. It's obviously, I know Mandy loves muscle bra hats and that's fine. I'm not a great big fan. I've made one, I didn't particularly like it, it didn't particularly fit well either. Obviously Jim uses it for when he's going out at the care home, but that's rare, again how bad the weather's been. It's not really something that I want, obviously. I think what I might do is obviously I'm going to have my iPad, I'm going to have the laptop with me. So I'm going to be able to say to him, well, what pattern are you wanting? I hope you have a very pleasant evening. I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow. And I will see you back here again soon. Bye!